Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Logitech C922. As far as the Logitech C922 goes, it's one of Logitech's newest cameras and it's supposed to be built for streamers. Now, as far as the gaming world goes, everybody knows if you're streaming or if you're making gaming videos, Everybody wants to see the content creator's face. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. If you don't have your face in your videos and you want to think about starting that, you possibly should get one of these. Now, I'll tell you why in a second. Before we get into the box, I wanted to make it clear on what visuals and audio you guys will be hearing and seeing in today's video. So what I will do in the top corner, I will put what camera and what audio device I will be using as far as recording and showing you guys all the visuals. So you guys won't be tricked, so you guys won't be hoodwinked or anything like that. I will tell you exactly what I'm using. As you guys can see, I'm using my Lumix G7 and I'm using my Rode shotgun mic right now. So let's go ahead and switch things up. So this is a pretty simple box. Let me go ahead and just open this thing up. All right, so as soon as you open up the box, the webcam is right there for you. So uh, let me go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Let's see what we got. All right, it looks like that's really about it. Yep, that's it. That's the only thing that comes in the box. Now, one thing that they do give you, they give you a three-month premium license for XSplit. Um, I would show you guys everything, but uh, matter of fact, you know what? For you guys in the video, the first one to put this code inside, I guess, whatever XSplit they have or anything like that, you guys will get three months free subscription. Another thing that, they, that comes inside this is a nice little tripod. Not too many webcams come with the tripods nowadays. It's not too bad. Now, let me see how long this tripod can actually get. Uh, let's see. I mean, that's that's not that's not bad. A, a, a standard table setup, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, the tripod that I'm using currently with my Lumix is way, way taller, but it's all good. But uh, this right here is the webcam, guys. You know what I'm saying? USB. I know it is not USB 3.0, and it is not... Uh, USB-C but that's all right so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to this cam and I will be using a Yeti mic for audio and what we will do is we will swap out the Yeti audio for the C922 audio just to give you guys a test on that so let's go ahead and hop into that all right, guys, so I currently have the C922 hooked up as well as the Yeti microphone. Now, all audio is currently coming out of the Yeti microphone, but the visuals are coming from the C922. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of my C922 and my Lumix G7, and I wanted to do an audio comparison between the Yeti and the C922 and maybe the Lumix G7. So what we will do is we will take off the audio from the Yeti right now. All right, guys, so what you're currently listening to is the audio from the C922. Let me know what you guys think about this change in audio. Do you guys think it's worthy of using? Do you guys think that if you use a C922, you should always use an external microphone? Or do you think you could stomach the sound and, you know, do it sometimes? Maybe, you know, when you're doing a quick live commentary. All right, guys, this is a actual visual test. Now, I'm currently looking at the C922, and now I'm looking at the Lumix G7. Now, I know that it's pretty hard to compare because it's really hard to compare a webcam to a DSLR. Maybe it would have been better for me to compare this webcam to another webcam under Logitech, but I can't do that right now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to compare this Lumix G7 that I'm looking at right now to this Logitech C922. Let me know what you guys think about the quality, the comparison. Let me know if it's something that is up to par with you guys. Now, as far as streaming with the C922, a lot of people are probably going to say, hey, bro, can you show us a, a few gameplays of you streaming with it? We want to see what it looks like in streaming. Well, just to let you guys know, I've been using the C922 for about a week or two now. Um, the links are above in the annotation. Make sure you guys check those out on the cards. Oh, come on, y'all. 
I know y'all don't think I'm that type of person, man. Y'all thought I was just going to pass y'all off to a little annotation, and that was going to be the end of the video. Heck no, man. I got to show you guys how my streaming world is. I got to show you guys how my streams look, how the camera fares, and let's hop into it. So first things first, just to let you guys know, I am using Streamlabs OBS. Second thing you need to know is I'm using the Logitech C922. The third thing you need to know is I'm using my Yeti microphone. Okay, so nowadays everybody has a streaming PC. That's like the standard in the gaming world. But for those who still stream from console, still have that divide where it comes with the professional mic, a professional webcam, but come to find out the C922 actually works with an xbox one now me personally i'm not an xbox guy but for all of you guys out there that have an xbox y'all might want to look into the c922 just imagine having the webcam that is literally leading the charge as your webcam on a console without even a beast pc behind you now let's talk about some of the features real quick the c922 we already know it maxes out at 1080p i may have said that before in this video but what i need to let you guys know is it has the least possible chance to tear while streaming or bleed or anything like that people know when you're streaming in high high bit rates that there's a possibility that you could drop frames it's a possibility that your streams can tear and luckily the c922 doesn't have that problem all right so enough of me talking what you guys are looking at on screen is monster hunter world this game right here is literally my life right now but also you see me in my webcam box and i just wanted to show you guys what it would look like if i didn't have my green screen set up if i didn't add any cropping this is how the c922 would look if you decided to just put a box over in the corner maybe at the top in the corners anything like that or if you wanted to put your face cam right in the middle of the screen this is how it would look now for those who like green screens and they love to crop certain areas out of their crib such as like this area right here where you see a lot of my background all you got to do is easily add a crop to it and now you guys can see that i am cropped i'm ready and i'm ready to be green screened now i know a lot of people were like bro this optimal space you have here you can't really move too much when you're gaming unless you're raging and throwing your controller all over the house most people are very stationary when they stream this like the the bare minimum of streaming like if you're not an active like oh and you know moving around a lot this is how it looks when you're streaming now let's throw the green screen on it so this right here is what my stream would look like guys this right here is a standard green screen it's no chat up on the screen right now there's no scrolling text or anything like that this is the bare minimum of how your stream will look now also one little thing that i need to let you guys know if you are running the c922 and you want to have a different type of color balance if you don't want to be too bright like i am right now if you want to have a little bit of depth to your skin tone you want to turn off the white balance auto if you turn it off for auto then you'll get a better sense of like skin tone and everything like that because right now i look light skin i legit look light skin but I'm actually brown skin. So what kind of happens is that white balance kind of makes you more bright because it wants to hit the green screen behind you. So definitely look into that. And so far, so good, right? All right, guys. So with that being said, this is my unboxing slash review slash check it out in the side of the description video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys thumb this video up leave any comments or questions you have below and i will be down there to answer them and i'll highlight you guys in the next one bye all right guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys definitely enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button i hope you guys like this video let's get this thing to 5,000 likes and this is your boy ikc signing out peace